everyone uh, raided dashing womble here yeah. i hope everyone had a uh, great uh, tuesday night although it's nearly three o'clock in the morning here yeah. about uh quarter two actually um got started late met with some friends and uh started a bit later than i wanted to and um I did get some done. I mean, it seemed to be a bit of a slow night. It wasn't just us. Um, I stopped into um, Pizza Hut. I got an uh, offer from there at some stage. And uh, they said it had been slow. Slow for them. So slow. Which, as there was an incoming storm and it was getting really windy at that time, I thought we would have had a bit more. But it was well, no, when we was there, it, it wasn't daylight. It was uh, it was still daylight until late later. I think it was like about half eight or something. But um, when it started getting dark, and then after that point, it's it's got some more uh, that have filtered in. Um, I did a couple from Applebee's during the night. I did, I think, one from uh, uh, Wingstop. Although DoorDash told me that it was two from Wingstop. I need to go check that. And I was in Lee Summit. So we was going to give up and go over to uh, uh, Blue Springs. I was considering it. So I turned everything off to go and have a look at the uh, Blue Springs Max, see if, if it was going to be any any better over there. And um, it didn't matter to me at the mo at that time because I just ended the dash. And if it hadn't been been any, if it was still been grey over there, I would have just come on. But. Um, and it started coming down with some rain at the time. Not that the rain really bothered me, but but it was pretty bloody windy out. <laughs> but um, but as I I went to uh, the feedback page and uh, all the stats page rather, and uh, on DoorDash, and it said I had a contract violation. Like what? The hell is that for? So I checked it. I uh, might be able to put a screenshot of it up here. I did I did take a picture. And it said it was from Applebee's. I've done two Applebee's. Which bloody one is it? So I've ended up calling support. I've got no, no email from them. Um, it wasn't telling me a whole lot in there that I saw. And again, I'm pissed off again. Pissed off that I've got this. Um, I mean, I'm sure we all get pissed off when we get one of these because I know I've dropped it at the house. I've taken pictures. I've got a screenshot. Always take a screenshot whenever you take a picture. If someone takes it at the door, you don't. I, I'm not comfortable with taking a picture of someone. I'll take a picture of it with their dog taking it, if they like, I don't mind. But the person I'm not interested in taking a picture of the person taking it. Um, but, uh, but always have a copy. Take a screenshot for yourself, basically. Because DoorDash, um, when I called them tonight, or, oh, yeah, tonight, they were saying, oh, well, I, I asked them specifically, when I went to support, my question was, which one? Which one of the two is it that I've got to submit details of? I don't want to say that support are a bunch of dummies. But I specifically said... Several times in that online, on the chat thing, that I needed to know which one. There's two. Which bloody one do you want the picture of? 
and the details of where I dropped it. Oh, God. That's like 30 minutes of my time I'm wasting vipping on the door dash. Why do they have these bloody idiots? Oh, I don't often get pissed off with them. And I didn't really get rude. I didn't get rude with them. But I was bloody fuming. It's like, why are you being so bloody dumb? Read the fucking damn thing that I'm writing to you. Which bloody one do you want the details of? Ah. Uh, so in the end, in the chat, I just went, OK, I'll just submit both the bloody pictures to you then, mate. And, uh... So then they were going to call the customer. Let me double-check. I will call the customer. It's fucking midnight. The customer ain't going to be that happy if you ring them at midnight, you prat. Anyway, uh... It's like, OK, you do whatever you're going to do. I don't care. You're the one that's going to have the problem. You're right, not me. They might have been up, they might have had kids in bed, and the phone might have woken up the kids. I don't know. But, um, might have woken them up. I don't know what the hell would have been at the other end. I don't even know which bloody address it went to. Um, I remember both the, uh, the jobs that they went to. I mean, it's not like I had a whole lot to do last night. But anyway, yeah, and at the end of it, they said that they'd, uh, they'd uh, received the pictures. They'd confirmed that I'd done the drop-off, and I went, fine. And then, I don't know, it, I screenshotted it. It was um, just bloody odd. Uh, the contract violation is still on my account. It didn't get sorted just yet. They said they were going to send me a uh, email. I never did get it. I haven't received the email as of yet. I just looked just net, just before I started the video. So I don't know. I, I just don't know for them. Uh, the orders got delivered. There's no problem with that. So I don't know what happened with them. Uh... But I'm glad that I take screenshots of them. I take a picture through their system, hit the flipping buttons on the iPhone, and screenshot it. This way, I've always got a, a uh, copy of it. And uh, hopefully everybody else knows that same, same system. I'm sure you do. Maybe I'm just uh, preaching to the choir, as, it's, as it would be. But anyway, uh, so after a while, um, not a lot was happening in uh, Lee Summit. So I uh, decided to move on to uh, Blue Springs area. And because uh, it showed that there was some stuff going on up there. So I took the uh, gamble for going up there. It was like about eight miles away. And uh, so I went over and do that and... It was, it, we got into the area, got into that zone, and I said, well, we just go sit by McDonald's up that way. Oh, so I pulled into the car park. I didn't bother to park properly. It was no point, because I wasn't in the McDonald's car park. I was a little bit further down the road. Just that way I could, it was ease of, ease of getting out of there. I could have gone any which way from there. Whereas if I go into the McDonald's car park, it's a more of a pain in the ass, a backside to get out. So anyway, while I'm sat there, sat there, or maybe me trusty snack, out me trusty snack back, and then I look at my mirror. Bearing in mind it's now like midnight, one o'clock in the morning, something like that. After all, well, I don't know. And um, I look in the mirror and I see a car coming down 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 that road. I mean, the, it's a bit of a storm. There's a storm coming in. There ain't a lot of people out. 
And I look, I just, I look at my mirror and then I see it turn into the car park and I went, oh, crap. There's a cop. I know it's got, I see it coming, I see it coming a mile away. I've got nothing to worry about, so I, I don't care. So anyway, he comes up alongside and, uh, my wife's like, oh, what's going on? That's the police officer asking us what's going on, right? Just checking up on us. So anyway, I went down the window and we were shouting across, conversing or whatever. He finally moved over next, a bit closer to us. And uh, he just wondered, you know, just uh, are we okay and that? Yeah, no problem, mate. I said, bro, just doing door dashing, just waiting for a job to come in. I said, I just pulled over here, decided to have some snacks and just wait, see what comes in and that. And then we just sat there for maybe an hour, talking with this cop. Watched a couple of it been, uh, things go on, been lights and sirens going on around us. And then I kept seeing this like flashing and I thought it was like the strobe lights on it, on his um, vehicle, on his SUV there, but I know it was bloody lightning. <laughs> um, it wasn't hitting the ground, it was just flashing in the, in the sky. And, uh, but yeah, he was nice, nice enough bloke. He was just uh, sat there chatting for a bit. Kept him away from the nutcases for a while. And then it started coming down, the rain started coming down, and, you know, we weren't undercover. And, um, and, uh, my wife's got the window in open, and we're still, still chatting. But the rain's coming in and getting her wet. He's getting wet. I'm fine, I'm all right, I'm dry. <laughs> but, um, but no, we had we had a good old conversation for a while. It was quite interesting to learn what goes on in that area. It's not an area that we uh, go to to uh, do uh, deliveries and that all the time. But we have been finding our way over there recently because they've got more twenty four hour spots. They've got uh, IHOP over there that's now started opening for twenty four hours. For the past couple of weeks, from um, from what I learned from the manager there over the weekend, and uh, they got the uh, McDonald's over there that's uh, twenty four hours. Oh, there's a couple of McDonald's here. I don't know if the other one is or not, but anyway. Um, so there's that. They got a water burger there, but I've never seen their water burger on a. Uh, on the DoorDash one, I know the Water Burger and Lee Summit that I'd never flipping go to is on DoorDash and that. But the reason I won't go to the one in uh, Lee Summit is well, <sighs> unorganised comes to mind very quickly. Um, well, at least it was. Maybe they got flipping new staff in there. I don't know, but. I choose not to go there. Um, and then they've got a Mexican restaurant um, called Ponchos, I think it is. And that's open 24 hours too. Um, of course, you've got a 7-Eleven, which I, I don't go to. And um, I think that's it in that area. I can't be sure. I don't know it. Oh, yeah, of course, you've got Taco Bell over there. They're open until about 2 a.m., I think, at that one. But I don't like to go to that Taco Bell. Uh, at least not that one on uh, Mock Avenue, I think it is. And, um... Because you go in there, drive through. It's the only way for it to get food in there, too. At night, it's to go through the drive through And, um... It's like you need to take your bloody rock climbing boots. It's uh, there's so many bloody craters and that in in their drive through. It's ridiculous. And when you come out of there, I thought it was like I remembered it from a year back or more. And I thought they would have had it repaired all by now, but hell no, it ain't. I didn't find that out until like last weekend. And um. 
you come out of the end of their drive through and there's some piles all through there, through the drive through but when you come out at the end, you've got to be really, really careful. You certainly don't want to come out there quick unless you're in a bloody great big truck, but with bigger wheels on it. But and these are not small wheels, but jeez. It couldn't cause serious damage to your vehicle for sure. Serious. So and and a couple of offers came in from there tonight, but we were there and I went there. Uh, I don't want to touch it because I don't want to flip and go through their drive through. And you, like I said, you can't get in the lobby. Don't have time tonight. Ah, uh, what else? I mean, that's it, really, I think. Um, you just got to stick at it, I suppose. I mean, at the moment, it seems like there's not a whole lot going on at night. I keep saying I've got to get my answer earlier, but. By the time we finish it, this time in the morning, and I do the editing, I do watch a bit of telly and that. And uh, by the time I get to bed, I don't really want to be up flipping too early to go out and do it. But I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to uh, change change the ways for a little while because this is absolutely nuts. I mean, come the weekend, come like Friday. Friday will be a whole lot different, maybe Thursday too. But tomorrow being Wednesday, um, you know, you also get the people that get their uh, 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 social security or whatever. I think that comes in on a Wednesday for a lot of people. I don't know if it comes in other days. I, I, I don't know it completely. But, um, but it seems like a lot of Wednesdays we've been out as been uh, people for catering orders and bigger orders, they seem to be okay to lose a little bit of cash. So I'm hoping that tomorrow's going to be like that. <laughs> but, uh, well, tomorrow, today. But anyway, um, oh, also Waffle House is open. I noticed that. We come through Lee's Summit and the Waffle House is open. I can't remember ever picking up from a Waffle House. I don't even know if that's on the DoorDash system. I'll have to have a look. I'll have to have a look on the uh, uh, DoorDash app for the consumers, customers. Um, have a look on that. And, uh, I mean, I, I don't know why they're not on there, if not, but we, uh, I don't see them on there. I don't see them on the hotspot thing. Um... Not that the hot spots are all anything to go by most of the time anyway, but I mean they come they pop up for bloody businesses that that are not no longer there. Uh I have one not too this week. Uh no, over the weekend. What was that for? Oh, I can't remember what the business is for, but the business is no longer there. But it's popping up as a hot spot. What the heck? <sighs> anyway. Alright, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Um, also, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Uh, all of that apparently helps the channel grow. And uh, hit the, uh, um, the bell icon too. That will let you know when the new, new uh, videos come out. And all the pictures and everything that I've done throughout the night, I'll put somewhere. Somewhere before here, probably. And just, uh, you'll just hear me babbling over it all. Probably won't be all being in sync, but you'll get the idea. And um, also, uh, yeah, I'll... Yeah, and that contract violation, I bought details of that, whatever I've screenshotted, put on there. If you've not heard a contract violation before, I have. You may have seen them in previous videos, if you've seen, seen the, any of the previous videos, of course. If I've not sent you sleep for them. <laughs> but, um, but I'm always right on them. 
As soon as I see that, that violation, I'm right on the bloody door dash. And uh, there to sort it out, as you should. If you know that you weren't in the wrong, um, then get right on it. And even if you were in the wrong, even if you thought that you were uh, at fault and you wasn't sure, well, first of all, if you wasn't sure, you should have contacted the customer where you were dropping it. But, um, or support, but, no, don't drop, don't get a hold of support, it just wastes your bloody time. Just try, try to get a hold of the customer all the time. That's your first bet. First point of ripping call is always the customer. If you can't get, it, when you're having a problem, if you can't find the house, you're not sure if you're right, the right house. I've done this before. Can you just stick your head out your door or something? Because I'm not sure if I'm at the right address. Something like that. Um, but if all that fails, then get a hold of support. But know that you're going to get... Know that you're going to be on the chat for a little while. Just be prepared. 20 minutes is pretty much a guarantee, sometimes longer. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully everyone has a great Wednesday. And uh, I put a new tip, tip of the day that should be out today. It's 7 a.m. I didn't do one yesterday. Uh, if you were waiting for that, I'm sorry. Um... My throat was just absolute. I couldn't do any more after I'd done the other videos. And um, my throat was just doing me in. And I thought today that it was a bit better, but then I started talking too much. <laughs> Not hard. Oh, I did meet one little dog tonight. One little puppy come running out of the house. For the little thing. Uh, I think his name is Molly. Not sure. That's what the uh, as he jumped out and squeezed between the uh, customer and, and the door. She got out and um, Fred, a little thing, only wanted to come and see who was who was delivering. I suppose who was delivering its food. <laughs> if you've got an animal, you will know that it ain't always your food. Whether you think you just pay for it or not, they want some of it. <laughs> Anyway, um, anyhow, turned it around and edited it back towards his house. It weren't a major road, so that was good. Anyway, uh, all right, well, thanks for watching, and I'll be back on soon. Well, today. Cheers. Ta-da.